Hi, this is Miss Nyakiba Kitchen, and today we're going to prepare chicken. And uh, we'll start the preparation process from the time it is slaughtered. How to cut the chicken into pieces and how to prepare the chicken. So, Lego. Yeah, so we have the chicken, and uh, this is the traditional chicken that we call Kenyeji, it's not a broiler and yeah that is the process of cutting it so first you start by cutting off the the, the legs uh, the lower legs and yeah you have to find the point eh? the joint so cutting of chicken is along the joints yeah and i've heard the video uh, so that we can quickly go through it and there's my family my brothers and my son and they're trying to so once you're done with the legs you cut off the, the thighs at the point. Uh, then you cut the shoulders. You see me cutting the shoulders and I'm following a particular specific path. Once you cut off the shoulders, you tear with your hands. So you just go down, but it just tears with the hands. Very easy. And why do we tear? We tear because we don't want to cut the stomach, uh, the intestines and all that because it will spill on the meat and it's not uh, very clean. So yeah, you follow a specific path so that you don't cut the, 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 uh, the whatever is inside the, the stomach. So yeah, there I am uh, cutting uh, so that I'm able to separate the pieces. So here you have to be cut very carefully just to make sure that uh, you don't cut. That is the stomach. So I'm really trying to make sure that it's not part of what I'm uh, it's not i mean it doesn't leak to the meat that would be horrible it would be a horrible mess so yeah so i'm following carefully uh through the path and there we are and off it goes so that is off huh? so yeah so once you do that you you just follow the path i'm following if you want to cut your chicken into pieces there let me just clean that i've done this for so many years from the time i was a kid eh? So that's why I'm able to do it very easily. So you need a sharp knife. And yeah, those are joints. Eh? I'm just following joints. Eh? So you're seeing I'm just cutting off the meat and breaking with my hands because I'm following the joints. That's the neck. So all you need to do is just cut like that. And the neck can be cut into two pieces at once or twice. And you know the neck has various joints also. So, so you yeah, for the thighs, the inner thigh, you just break with your hands and you just cut along the... It's so easy if you do it along the joints because that one now, it clearly shows you that uh, cutting is easy. So I have two chicken to prepare, but I'll just show you the first one. Then uh, we'll go straight to cooking the chicken. So doing that is very easy and uh, very quick to prepare. So now the gizzard, we have, people love the gizzard, so you have to remove it carefully, carefully so that you don't spill the items. Then, yeah, you cut it like that. We are trying to remove the contents, uh, the food that the chicken has just eaten, had just eaten before slaughter. And, uh, yeah, sometimes you just put it into a paper bag so that it's easy to dispose. You must peel off that piece, you know, it is very easy to peel off that so that that is not edible. So you remove that layer. Yeah, and that the liver, the, the, the gizzard is ready. So you can quickly pick out the liver. There are people who love eating the liver. I think as we do eat the liver. And you remove the liver very easily. There is something that is like a pointed, pointed finger at the liver. You carefully don't touch it. So you make sure you remove slowly so that um, it is not part of what is... Uh, if you touch the meat, the, the bile actually. It will make the meat very sour. So yeah, there we are. I'm done cleaning as we start to cook so let's watch out as we start to prepare so key what is important to prepare is the onions so we are going to do some dry fry so there we have onions uh, spring onions but the bulb onions then we have the garlic and ginger and we have some tomatoes ready um, then the meat uh, the double-sided pan comes in very handy and i've already put it in 
and yeah i just poured in some uh, you can quickly boil because it's a uh, it's not the broiler so i had boiled it quickly and then yeah, i'm pouring in some oil so that i shallow fry uh as i prepare so uh, i'll just do in some oil uh, and just let it cook for a while so that one is easy because you give it time uh let it fry so that the meat can prepare and cut as we wait so there we are i keep turning it i prepare i turn So yeah, add some salt because uh, it's cooking. Then uh, add ginger and garlic. Just cut it slowly and slowly around the meat. Make sure that it's spread across the meat. So you just mix slowly so that you make sure that some piece, uh, all the pieces get the ginger and garlic, the seasoning. And remember, this is not deep frying so we need to easily spread it across and the smell is wow <laughs> guys the smell is amazing but you know this chicken takes longer to cook you'll realize i cooked the lower parts of the legs uh us africans love eating that and that one is clearly for my mom she loves eating that so yes uh, the only thing i threw away is the stomach and the head of the chicken the rest we eat so yeah, it's getting ready and you're seeing it there. So now it's almost getting ready just pour in the onions remember the onions are the bulb onions and the spring onions just to give it an, an amazing taste uh because of uh, it's now cooking and almost ready you can put in the tomatoes uh, you cover it for some time then you crush because the tomatoes would have steamed so that we prepare some sauce just a little sauce for the chicken um if you want you can just leave the onions without the tomatoes but we wanted a little soup so there we are i'm just trying to cook in the the tomatoes so that they cook and it's coming up very well uh it's looking yummy it's looking yummy and amazing people and the smell is just wow it's out of this world so yeah just bear with me with the camera because i'm what one hand is holding the camera and the other one is cooking but yeah, the, the meat is definitely taking shape. So there we are with the onions. I'm adding the onions just to make sure that uh, it, it, it uh, gives that last minute taste. So there we are. Give it a few minutes for the onions to be absorbed. So let's add some spices. I have cumin. I just want to put in a little just to give it a taste. I I like killing the chicken smell. I don't just like it in my face eh? and taste. So I like uh, when you put a lot of spices. So you put ginger garlic, it kills that. And then if you put some cumin, oh my, oh God, the smell. I'm so red with this smell. It's coming out very well. Then, yeah, there we are, adding more spices. Uh, you, the spices is up to you. You can add anything you want. It's up to you. It's up to you to decide. So, yeah, I'm just adding a few spices, cutting it up so that it can be able to give that taste that I talked about. That give us a nice, smooth gravy. So, just to turn a bit uh, for it to the, uh, get in the chicken. But our chicken is ready, people. It's looking amazing. So yeah, so there we are, and I think uh, we're preparing it so that we just uh, uh, get it off the fire. So it's 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 taking shape. So if you want it, you can leave it like that. 
but um, I think it's best to just add some water. I'm just adding little water so that the spices can just dissolve and make a little soup. So I'll give it a few minutes for it to just to just kill the soup. So there we are and we're ready. The chicken is ready people. It's looking good and wow and yum. Thank you for being a part of this journey and thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Remember, the chicken can be eaten with anything, including rice. You can have it with chapati. You can have it with garlic, potatoes. It's a